Foot and Ankle Divisions, Department of Orthopedics, p r a m k u t g a o Hospital and College of Medicine, Bangkok, Thailand. We would like to present the surgical techniques of endoscopic gastrocnemius resections. We have no potential conflict related to these presentations. And here's the list of my co-authors. Indications: Isolated gastrocnemius contracture or combined g a s t r o s o l e s contracture. And patients are f a i l conservative treatment for at least six months. Contraindications: active skin and soft tissue infections, extensive soft tissue injury with scarring at the mid leg area. Instruments: four millimeter, 30 degrees a r t h o s c o p e slotted cannula, retrograde knife, cotton tip applicators. Positions: This surgery can be performed either supine or prone positions. The patient is placed in supine positions. This video demonstrates equinoctial contracture of the ankle, approximately three degrees. The medial head of gastrocnemius is palpated, and the line it marks along the medial head of the gastrocnemius. Then the most medial part of the gastrocnemius it marks longitudinally. Then the medial portal is marked 3 m m anterior to the medial border of gastrocnemius. The leg is elevated. H mark is used, and the thigh t u r n i c a t is inflated, in order to maximize visualization during the procedure. Number 15, scalpel is used to open the medial portal. Skin. And soft tissue is dilated using hemostat. A slotted cannula is introduced from medial portal and exit or lateral portal. Number 15 s c a r b o r o is used to create 3 m m m incision for lateral portal. Both medial and lateral portal should be in line, and blunt Q-tip is used to clean the blood. A camera is introduced from medial portal. Then a fascia of gastrocnemius is demonstrated from medial to lateral directions. A gastrocnemius fascia can be observed by moving ankle up and down. Then we can turn the slotted cannula 100 degrees on the opposite way. To look into the s u r a l nerve, in some patient, we can see s u r a l nerve. If we can see s u r a l nerve, we can palpate the s u r a l nerve from outside the cannula. For cutting the fascia, a retrograde knife is introduced from lateral portal under endoscopic control. The knife is hooked from the medial side of the gastroc fascia. And then start cut from medial side. The process of the cut should be gentle and smooth. You can observe the thick of the fascia, and also the whitening of atrophy of the gastroc muscle, due to the patient have long standing of p o l i o s A fascia it cut completely from medial to midline and all the way to lateral. After completely cut the gastrocnemius fascia, we can observe the muscle by move ankle up and down. After completely cut, ankle dorsiflexion is measured, and it is approximately 10 degrees. Postoperative protocol: The patient is placed with a soft dressings, and a cam walking boot is applied. The patient is allowed. 
to put weight bearing as tolerated. At two weeks, the patient is returned to the clinic and the wound is checked and stitches are removed. At six weeks, they can wean off the boot and perform range of motion and strengthening exercise. I would like to say thank you to MVK Foundation, Department of Orthopedics, Prabhupada Hospital and College of Medicine, UC of Iowa Hospital and Clinics, and all of my mentors, Dr. Physical and Amendola. Thank you for your attentions.